So let's go into a little bit more detail about the Ascension course, and I'm going to break it down week by week. So overall, then, you're going to learn how to love every aspect of your life, how to appreciate everyone in your life, how to enhance your connections to the higher realms, how to live your life as a higher vibrational light being, and also how to create the life of your dreams. So the first thing we do is we look at what Ascension is all about, and then why do we need to actually be mindful of the Ascension? Could we not just sleep through it? No, <laughs> you don't get given this opportunity and ignore it. The, ascen the ascension is actually occurring whether we get involved or not but many of us are here at this time for this reason there is no better reason because your soul is continually wanting to rid itself of karma it wants to work through dharma and this is all the soul does it's on its way back to source and this is the absolute fantastic opportunity of every lifetime to be able to down all well just download all of the rubbish that you've created over lifetimes and ascend now when i'm talking to you as an empath or a star seed or a light worker then you already vibrate higher than 5d we are here to assist gaia in her ascension and she assists us in ours, and it's a reciprocal ascension process, and that's how we've managed to already level up to 4D. So as you do the course, you will realize that you can live life at higher 4D, which will also mean that you raise your vibration beyond the astrals and so or the astral realm, because that's 4D. And so if you can keep your vibration at high 4D, then the shit show just carries on underneath you and you love your life also you get glimpses of 5d and it's very difficult to achieve a lifetime in 5d when you've got this body that is so dense yeah but it doesn't mean to say that you can't glimpse and enjoy time at 5d because i do and people who do the course also experience it so anyway what else can you learn in week one um how you can help yourself through the ascension and more importantly how you can help others during this time of ascension even those who don't want to ascend they still need our help that's why we're here so we're already a higher density light being here on earth and we have this constant connection to source or god or allah whoever you refer to as your divine source that's who i'm relating to as well you may even want to call it the universe for a long time i just refer to it as the angels so whatever that source is that divine aspect of you that's what we learn to connect with and work with as co-creators so we're working alongside the higher light beings like i mentioned in the previous video so archangels ascended masters um Acturians, uh, Pleiadians, whoever you link to, whoever your star family is. Um, so we can also raise the vibration and the light in the people that we spend time with. So we actually become beacons or like little lighthouses and we don't have to sell the um, ascension or we don't have to Ex try and wake people up or expect people to think like us we just be and we shine this beautiful light and people want to know more or they just enjoy spending time with you and all of that's healing in itself so on the course then in week one we look at the states of consciousness which i've already mentioned briefly about 3d 4d 5d but you can actually exist at a higher frequency especially when you're meditating or sleeping yeah we look at 3D transhumanism briefly in week one. And we also looked at look at the evolved humans as well. We look at the timelines, the frequencies, and those vibrating at a lower frequency, how to recognize them, how you are treated by them, how to resonate at 4D, and also how to recognize 
anybody who's vibrating at a higher frequency. Um, just scrolling through. Let's see what else you learn. You learn how to keep your vibration high at all times. I've mentioned this in the last video about making it part of your morning routine and being mindful where you're not mithered. You're not thinking about things that have passed or worrying about things that could come. You are in the moment. And that takes some training. But once you can achieve that living in this moment, then you can create, you can enjoy, you can be that um, higher light being in this moment on earth throughout your day with a blank mind. It's lovely. You learn how to care for your body daily. You keep a journal perhaps because there's so much fun going on and you're writing down the synchronicities and things. You're of service to others, but you're also an observer. You're no longer reacting uh, to anything. You just respond uh, or maybe you just observe and move on. So we look at the different types of meditation and mindfulness. And that's when we start looking at the chakra system as well in week one. Uh, just a brief overview about the chakra system. Uh, because in the first few weeks, apart from week five, we look, we look at a chakra at the end of every week to week eight. And then again, we repeat the chakras back at the back end about week 22 23 something like that and we're looking at the higher vibrational chakras like your alta major chakra or your cosmic chakra or your soma chakra um we don't even need to get into that right now so week one um you'll be healing your base chakra and so i'll ask you questions like do you tend to drop break or bump into things can you be easily distracted from a task at hand? Do you sometimes feel lonely, betrayed or abandoned? Do you feel disconnected or unsupported in general? Do you suffer from constipation or diarrhea? Do you find yourself being domineering or controlling? So I ask you, there's a whole load of questions. And if you answer yes, then pretty much got an issue on your base chakra that needs healing i also briefly look at the earth star chakra which is the one that you want to ground into because sometimes issues on the base are because you're not grounded properly but most of the time issues on the base relate to um lower vibrational emotions thoughts and feelings and so we can heal those and i give you a list of um feelings and thoughts that you will feel and think throughout the day if you're blocked or unbalanced. And then I actually give you a whole list of how you should be feeling with a balanced base chakra. And then if you do need healing, I give you quick fixes uh, like crystals, essential oils, affirmations. And then I also look at permanent healing methods. So for your base, if you've ever heard of that Hawaiian prayer, Ho'opono pono, that's perfect. But I also give you other uh, means in which to heal the base chakra. I also mention Archangel Oriel, who is the red angel, the Archangel of Wisdom, who is absolutely gorgeous. But briefly, I only mention him briefly because he can help you heal your base. And that's pretty much everything we cover in week one.